identify the transformation based on the coordinates below. Figure 1 gives us these three coordinates, A, B, and C. Then figure 1 prime gives us the coordinates of the transformed figure. So what that means is we start with figure 1 and we end up with figure 1 prime. Let's go ahead and place these coordinates to see what we end up with. I'll be using red for figure 1 and a different color, we'll just go ahead and use this for figure 1 prime. Let's see, A is at negative 6, negative 3, so that means I go to the left 6 and down 3 to place it right here. Then I have B at negative 2, positive 2 right here, and C at negative 2, negative 3. And when I connect all those, let me go ahead and use the black line to connect them, I could see that I have what looks like a um, right triangle. And actually it's important what I didn't do to write the um, letters next to their points. So A, B, and C. Now figure 1 prime, let's go ahead and place these. I have positive 6, negative 3 is point A prime, then I have positive 2, negative 3, and I have po positive 2, positive 2. And when I connect these, I can see what has happened is I have a reflection over the y-axis. What that means is we took this triangle over here, and it just reflected, almost like a mirror, across. Let's look to see if that's one of the answer choices. We could either have a translation, which I'm going to go ahead and erase this just to go over what these are one more time. A translation is when we have a shape and that shape just moves to a different location. That's not what happened here. We could have a rotation where we had a shape and it's turned on its side, not here. We could have, oops, it looks like my line moved over here. Uh, reflection across the x-axis, which is the horizontal axis, which we did not have. We did have a reflection across the y-axis, or we could have had a dilation where we had one shape that started and then it ended up much larger. In this case, the correct answer is a reflection across the y-axis.